sequence by anything but the Kumari Sur at Surya Mangalya 2019 with my guest Aseka Vijayvadanam. We now talk to Aseka, the teacher. Aseka, how difficult is it at your age to be a teacher? Uh, it's it's not that difficult. I think I love what I do and I love teaching. So I don't I don't think it's difficult. But um, I I have to uh, teach a lot of small children, so it's very exciting, and uh, I love spending time with them, and they're very they're very interesting. So uh, it's not difficult. I don't think it How is. How do you hold their attention as a teacher? I mean, little kids, their their mind wanders a lot along. Yes, Anka. See, the first thing is, I think uh, even before you teach, you have to make them like you, because if they don't like you, they're not going to listen to what you're going to say. Okay. So uh, I think uh, the appearance, good hygiene, the way you speak and like, you know, you have to have that good vibe around you. Um, then, you know, they'll start liking you and because, uh, because all children, they try to be their teachers, they try to imitate them. So uh, with all of that, I think uh, I kind of did something and I achieved something. So they like me and uh, I'm very grumpy in the morning. I, I, hate waking up in the morning so going for classes is a, is a bit of a problem but when i go there you know it all changes because they are you know they're so interesting they love you and they're always and that that they're, they're, they're there to listen to us so that's a that's a big achievement and uh, Yes, I just love going for classes now. So see, you are a person who loves a lot of pampering and attention. But now with your students, it's the other way around. It's the you other need way. to give them your attention and you pamper them. I do, but then I think I get it more than them. I think they pamper me a lot because I act like a child in class. Because I think I also have to act their age for them to be comfortable with me. How, how small are they? Well, how old is the smallest? Five. Oh, four, yeah. Four. That is, that is, because they're very naughty, and especially it's at 8.30 in the morning, so they're very grumpy, and they're hungry, and uh, they have so many complaints. Uh, because, you from India? Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, I meet them once a week, so they have so much of stories to tell me about school and friends and what happened to them. So I listen to each and every one of them. So more than, you know, teaching dance, I think uh, I do a lot of activities with them. So because I have to make them like the class first, I, I have to make them come again for the same class. So uh, yes, they, I think uh, they're loving it. I hope they like it. Are they there because they want to be there or because their parents want them to be there? Most of them because the parents want, because you know, the parents have not got a chance to come and join uh, Tata's foundation and you know, they had the dream if they had a daughter, they'll uh, put her into the class. But um, uh, it's mostly because of the mothers. But I think uh, the children are liking it as well because as I told you, it's not only dance, it's not straightforward dancing. It's a lot of activities, a lot of singing, exercises and a lot of fun games. So I think they're liking it now. Any kids who have not come back to your class? So they were just bored and they did. Yes, there are because um, some kids are a bit shy uh, and they just don't want to open up and uh, they want their parents to be around them. They don't, they don't like, you know, coming to us. And uh, so that has happened. Uh, but I think we've achieved a lot, but most of the, them, most of uh, the children, they like coming to classes. What do you look for in a child of five years old? with which you can mold him or her into a dancer. You look for something in the child. I think good posture, you know, they because you know, because that's the first thing we teach them. We teach them six positions and you need to keep those what six. Uh, feet, knees, hip bones, shoulders, chin and head. Let's do with the posture. So, you know, you need to have the six positions correct. And um, so it's, I think, good posture and a good focus. If they're listening to us and if they're disciplined enough. They're five years old, they're small. Yes, but still they do. There are some who's really focused and who's, you know, they're very well disciplined, they're well brought up. So they listen to us and, you know, uh, they, they give you all the attention. And uh, with all of that, yeah, I think I look for that. But if some are very naughty, some are really hard to handle. So then it's a bit, you know, hard. But. You were trained by your parents as a teacher or you learned on the run? I learned on the run. But uh, my parents did teach me a lot. But, um, you know, I was, I just, this is all what I saw when I was small. And I grew up looking at this. So it's, it, it has always been there. So, it, you know, so I think, uh, yeah, I learned it on the run. Uh, more girls or more boys in our class? More girls. Why is that? 
as a trend why is that uh, Even in your father's foundation, your father's dance troupe, it's more girls than this boys. I think uh, those days there were a lot of boys who danced and you know, not a lot of girls. But now it's the other way around. Now there's a lot of girls dancing and not a lot of boys. And uh, I think we're lacking a lot of masculine power nowadays. Even in the society, I don't know. <laughs> So I think uh, that's also one of the main reasons a lot of boys are shy and I, I think they just don't want to uh, take this as a stable career. Uh, so I think probably that's the reason. So you as a teacher, what needs to be done to encourage more boys, more men to come and take to dancing? Uh, I think Isn't it predominantly a male dance sport? It is, it is. It's very masculine. I think uh, uh, so my Sia and my mother and everyone got involved to you know, turn this into a very uh, feminine, uh, put a feminine style into it. So uh, I, I would want to say I think all boys, should, not all boys, but if you want to, if you want to become a dancer, you should. I think nothing can stop you. So if you're a dancer, if you want to become a dancer, you can't you know stop halfway and you know you can't change your mind and you know you have to just be very stable with what you want to do and uh, I don't think you should give up easily because it's a very very rough uh, roller coaster ride that you're getting into. <laughs> yeah. So you as a teacher do you also draw from the western dance forms in terms of certain techniques or certain uh, layers of foundation for example? Do you? I do because uh, Tata you as a teacher? Yes. Because Tata always says we have to, you know, go with the contemporary world. So uh, with all of that, we have to get their influence. Uh, we're not copying them. We are not trying to do exactly what they're going to do. Uh, but then uh, we're trying to get that feel into it, into what, into our tradition. And yes, we do uh, uh, get uh, the Western style. Who are the Western dancers, European dancers who influenced you? Alvin Ailey a lot. Alvin Ailey a lot because I watch their videos a lot and because uh, you know they have their own style. They came up with their own style and I think that's really nice. And uh, they go along that they just don't change their style suddenly. So I think that's what we are trying to do with our tradition. Uh, so we follow them a lot. You're into, f into traditional dance or the more into fusion dance? Uh, I love traditional dance, but unfortunately I have to do a lot of fusion dance because of what people, this is what they want now, this is what the audience wants now. Because, um, you know, they are so fast, that this is what they say, they're like, me hari fast, upbeat, that's what they say. Because a lot of people are forgetting about the tradition probably. Uh, so, yeah, I have to do fusion because I have to, but if not, I'll choose uh, traditional dancing. My last question, what would be your greatest challenge as a teacher? Uh, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, you, the teacher, your greatest challenge? I, I would want to be a role model for someone. I would want someone to, you know, say, um, I want to be her. I want to be my teacher. I want to be like my teacher. I think that's my... That will be my greatest achievement in life. That's also why you were made World Peace Ambassador, I believe. Yes. It all came with it. Thank you very much, uh, Asika. And uh, so that brings sequence uh, Y to a close. We meet it again as Asika, the dancer, sequence X at uh, Surya Mangali 2019 at Chawata Road. Catch you soon.